orderly, sequential, and right brainer, just give them the big picture first. They want they want that big picture in ten what it ten seconds, fifteen seconds, tops. Give me the big picture. If I want the details, I'll ask for them. See? So so that's the way you can honor your relationship with Val. 50, whatever you want to say, say it in 15 seconds. If he needs more information, he'll let you know. Now, you can then take his response with a grain of salt or, you know, give him credit where credit's due. You know, he's known you for how many years? Maybe he doesn't need all the dang details. Okay? Yeah, that was my business yeah, so so he doesn't need all the you know you understand so that. Do you think he has more the right brain or left brain? Because Total right brain. Yeah, he's oh, like he's like way up there. He 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 has the patience of a gnat. <laughs> I can see where my fiance has left some left and some right. So, we all do, yes. Yeah, and I can see where I do. So it's like, you know, whatever. His is over here, mine's over here. We just need to. Does that make sense? Is that what you're saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm just trying to and the out. more balanced you can become, whether it's by juggling or cross crawls or or just having an appreciation for somebody else in your life, mm -hmm. okay? The more balanced you can become, the more flexible you can become. The more the more better results you'll achieve. it gives you behavioral flexibility. If you can stand on the right side and say, hmm, it looks like this. But if you stand on the left side, it looks like this. You know? Somebody said somebody on Facebook said, you know, your your responses seem sometimes confusing and and, and contradicting. I said, thank you. <laughs> you know? Every point of view, every I mean every every question or every every situation has more than one point of view. And if I can't see at least two, I feel, you know, grossly incompetent. You got to be able. You, you, and the funny thing is, what what a lot of people don't get, in, especially in marriage and in relationships and in business and and politics, what they don't get is that the better you can see and appreciate and understand the other person's point of view, the more power you have. The more, the more power and control and influence you can have if you can actually see both sides or all three sides or all four sides. You know, I can see, I can see, I can appreciate the Green Party argument. And I can appreciate the Democratic argument. And I can appreciate the Republican argument. And I can appreciate the Communist argument. Now I have power. I have access I have behavioral flexibility. I can stand in this situation and I can go in any direction freely. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. um, so if you have business partners that are both right brain, you should get a left brain assistant. You get a left brain assistant, yeah. <laughs> That's what I was thinking that we need to do. That's exactly what you do. You get somebody who's going to take all those piles of paperwork and neaten them up and create a schedule and create a, a calendar and, and boom, boom, map everything out and keep track of all the phone calls and all the notes and all of this and all of that. Absolutely. And that's why most um, entrepreneur types, right, which are obviously right-brainers, right-brainers, the guys that, that are bold enough and outside the box enough to own their own business, to step out of the away from the 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 you know that that paycheck week to week security Here. of having a job. Yes, boss. Um, did mom take the black car? I think she did. Yes. Okay. Um. So so you, yeah, all those guys. They're they're by def almost by definition more right brain, more creative, more bold, right? To step outside the box, and, or women, <laughs> no offense, right? women women business owner, um, 
the, the balance to that is the left brain secretary, the, the orderly and sequential administrative assistant who's going you know, to type up those letters and actually check the spelling before they go out. And, you know, <laughs> follow up on this bill and that bill and this client and that client. Yeah. Well, we, just before um, we left on our trip, he had a client that, you know, the page, there's like 34 pages when you list your house. Right. Questions and all that. Disclosures. If anything happens, it's not our fault. <laughs> all the things you need to be aware of, even Eric's golf balls, you know, anything. Boundaries. <laughs> Geological hazards, yep. fault zones, whatever. So anyway, he had a client that had to read every page. Mm -hmm. He was coming unglued. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it was just like almost painful to sit there. But then on the other hand, he me he memorizes a lot of the contracts just that he knows everything and gives them a brief description. Yeah, and his expectation is they're going to take his summary. Yeah. So, okay, here's here's the geological hazard report, sign that. Here's the environmental impact report, sign that. Here's the fault lines and, you know, golf ball, sign that. Here's the t pest report, sign that. Here's the one saying, you know, you're, you, you know, you have all your permits, sign that. Here, right? Yeah. But when somebody actually stops to read all that nonsense, yeah, that's not normal for him. That's, that's like, ah, let's be done with this. Come on, we got to move it. Boom, 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 boom. Yes. Okay, so, wow, that didn't take as long as I thought, did it? Any, any other, anything else? Well, what are some of the ways of, of when you're starting with uh, either a marriage or a partnership where mm -hmm. you're just not even on the same page. I mean, where do you find the middle ground? I mean, we have some experience and some knowledge, but like where if you're just kind of starting from scratch and like, you know, how do you, like even if you're like put on a team at work and your boss says, okay, you guys go and do this together. I mean, how do you start out with someone um, to try and work, work together? I mean, do you have any ideas on like, well, questions to ask, or you even on the same Yeah, page. yeah, I do, I do. Okay, so, so, I like the, the premise of your, of your question is that it is a conversation, okay? Mm -hmm. It's, it's something that is going to unfold in a conversation. It's, it's not going to be apparent. It's not going to be like, Oh, here's, you know, here's my five communication, you know, techniques, and here's my, my learning style, and my, here's my behavior, and here's my, you know, my, my thought process. It, we don't have those things tattooed on our chest or forehead. So it's a conversation, okay? So um, the first part of this conversation is, is to establish common ground. So talk, you have to talk about the project, you have to talk about the relationship, talk about the task or the situation or, you know, whatever it is. Do you, and then feed it back to the other person, right? So you, 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 you ask a question, you hear it, and then feedback. You do that a couple of times and you're going to have a, start to have a good idea, okay, wait a minute, do I really understand what this person's saying? Are we really saying the same thing? Okay? So you got to establish common ground. So, so that would be the first one. The second one is understanding, and I hate to use the word problem, but let's say the... Um, Goal. All right, I like that better. So you want to understand where what we're where we're trying to go. Sarah? Yeah, understand where we're going. The goal. 
direction. Well, I don't want to say direction, that's too big. Well, if you're married, you mean like the C, the first one would be to see if you have the same values? Um, yeah. Or values? Like what's important to you? Mm hmm About work or? It, it could be, it could be anything. Um, depending upon the situation. In a, in a quick meeting or with a child, the common ground or rapport, rapport could be um, matching and mirroring the other person's breathing and posture. You know, I mean, how much do I have in common with a six-year-old? Probably more than I would like to admit, but <laughs> let's say a 12 year old at least um, but, but I have to establish common ground I have to kind of get get eye to eye with that little guy or girl right so that I'm, so that I'm seeing the world experiencing the world with some commonality does that make sense mm -hmm. now whether you can both do that or whether it's your responsibility depends upon the relationship. Ideally, both people are doing that. You know, he's going to try to talk in your language. You're going to try to talk in his language. He's going to appreciate, oh, she's standing from that visual boom, 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 big picture. He's, he's, he's standing in that piece by piece, step by step. You may have an appreciation for the other person's past, some of their experiences, right? In a relationship, you know, what have they been through? What have they gone through? What, you know, what kind of childhood do they have, or um, whatever? Um, I mean, I know one guy. He, he, you know, he and his wife had both been shot at, so you know, they had this kind of this this mutual understanding of having faced death together. So, you know, that was like a big part of their relationship. <laughs> So once we have a common ground, or we build rapport, and we have, we, you know, for communication, the next thing we want to do is understand the goal, understand where we're going, or the, the result, or the challenge, or the task. Again, I hate to use the word problem. Um, Warner used to call it a breakdown. You know, things are constantly in the state of breaking down. It's like... It's like we're on an escalator going down, right? And if you stand still, you, you're going backwards. So you're, you always have to keep moving because the world is, it's like entropy, you know? The world is constantly falling apart. <laughs> so um, so does that, does that make sense so far? Okay. Um, you, know, you know how you were saying that, you know, sometimes it's, it's we, we do for someone what we think we, we want. Mm -hmm. the same. That's one of the first natural things you do is you think, well, what would I want? And then you do it for them. But, yes. But that doesn't make a difference. For them. That's not going to get you laid. <laughs> is, there a quick, is there a quick way to do that without doing a lot of experimenting that doesn't work? I mean, um, you know, what to figure out whether you're just putting your ideas on them that they should like what you like or Well, again, you know, you, you talk to somebody for five seconds and if they're looking up and they're drifting off, they're make they're not making eye contact and they're explaining things, you know, in 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 these, you know, oh what was I saying? Blah blah blah. I mean, can you mistake me for anything other than outside the box thinker? After you listen to me for five seconds, let, let's say a minute. I mean, right. So how are you going to approach me if you have an idea? Are you going to start, like Lisa said, she knows she has 10, 15 seconds, right? If you start going into the blue, 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 well, in this piece, and I'm like, okay, wait, what, what's the end? What, what's the goal? I mean, I, I can't keep track of it. I just... If I read it, I can kind of, I can kind of make the picture as I go along, and then get to the idea. But if somebody's talking to me, I, it's just, 
It's like it's like ants crawling all over my body. It's like ooh, gives me the willies. Just give me the. Get, tell me what you want. You want to go out to dinner, right? I've heard you. You're like say that again. Yeah. You've done that to me, and I've seen you do it to Lisa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like okay. Okay, wait, say that again. What? Yeah. Tell it a different way. Yeah. So. Well, that, there's two say that again. There's right. the one where I heard you say something, but I don't want to interpret what you mean. I don't want to add my meaning to it. Right. So I'm going to ask you to say it another way for clarification. Right. The other one is, I really wasn't listening to you <laughs> at all. So in order for me to give you an honest answer, I need you to say it again. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so um, we want to have a mutual understanding of the goal, okay? The next thing is, and, and look, if, this, if we don't even have a common ground for, for expressing ourselves, some understanding, it's pointless, it's useless to go to step two. If you haven't established some minimal rapport with your client, don't go here. Or maybe getting his perspective is part of building the common ground at, at an initial meeting because he doesn't know me from Adam. So if I start off the if, if I start off the interview by saying, "What do you want? What is important to you? What do you like? What do you enjoy?" You know, the kid's like, I mean, his unconscious mind is probably going, "Holy crap! Nobody's ever asked me what I want before." You know, this guy must be brilliant. He must be my friend. He, I, I like this guy. You know, he's, not, he's the first adult I've met in four years that's not telling me what he thinks. He's not telling me his ideas. He's not telling me what I should do, according to him. He's asking me what I want to do. He's asking me, do I want to succeed in school? He's asking me, do I even want good grades? Or do I want to be improve my spelling or reading? Or do I think it's important to do good in math? Oh, of course he's going to like me. Now, the parents, I don't know, I'm not sure what to do with that, because if they're left-brainers, I'm in deep shit, okay? Because <laughs> they're going to look at me like, oh, this guy's whacked. He's, I'm going to let him work with my kid? <laughs> I, I'm sure that's happened on occasion. I'm sure they've, like, walked away. Okay, I mean, John likes him, but, dang, he's weird. He's like, he's like all over the place. <laughs> So, you know, eh, <laughs> you do what you can. Um, that's why I have that. I always talk to the parents on the phone before I meet with them. You know, I have that. I have, I, they go to the website. They look over the stuff. They get an idea of where I'm coming from. And then we have a private conversation without the kids there. We get to talk about, you know, this, that, and all the developmental nonsense and issues and problems and psychoses and, you know, all that, all that stuff. And, uh... And then I warn them, I tell them, I say, look, you know, when you come in, my focus is going to be on the child. I'm going to be looking at him, and my, and my attention is going to be on him, so don't feel, you know, slighted or neglected. <laughs> okay, so once we have, a, a, we have some grounds for rapport, conscious or unconscious, we want to under, have a mutual understanding of the goal. Mutual understanding of the goal. We put mutual. Next, if we have agreement on the goal, we need to understand the, the possibilities. We need to understand that um, and we're talking about solutions, not how to, not not the the, the not exactly not not how to do the solution not how to get there but is it possible is it a are is there a possible solution to the problem Does that make sense because because if a ma if a if a parent doesn't believe that their kid can learn to read why do they want to come here if they don't believe that their child can with with or without medication learn to to focus in, in class and, 
and bring down his, his anxiety level and, and, and learn to memorize using his visual spatial acuity, whatever. It's, it's, not, it's pointless for me to go into, well, how are you going to do it? Or how am I going to do it? Does that make sense? So once we establish that it is possible, that there are one or more possible solutions to, to, to the goal, now, now we, let's, let's look at what are the opportunities. Oops. What are the opportunities to, or, or the, so the how-to to, to generate those possibilities, those, those solutions. Does that make sense? And again, you, you, know, you say something, I say something, I feed, you feed it back to me or I feed it back to you. And, and we, you know, did you hear what I said? Well, here's what I heard you say, blah, 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 blah. And, and you, and you get it down there. Um, and then the last one, which is critical. Um, so, so let's, let's, um, yeah, so let's, let's go to the next one. So the next one is action, right? Once we agree on all this, we have to take action. And that requires... What? Come on, Kathy. What's the dirty word? The C word. <laughs> what? Uh, well, first thing that came to my mind was a schedule. But, I mean. No, way worse than schedule. <laughs> Come on. Do you remember what it was? Maybe you can't. Maybe we've done way with it. Come on, the C word. It's the, 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 the most vile, disgusting... What? <laughs> I couldn't even get her to say it. I don't even know what for that a year. is. <laughs> for a year. <laughs> Commitments. And I would I would say I would say actually I'm going to back up. I'm going to say it, you really need two things. You need requests and commitments. So you have to make a request and and, and then get a commitment. And if you start here without these, you know, basically it's either duress or or something else that's going to drive that that action. See? See, um, is without without naming names, there was another person here that was talking about, you know, I, I heard a real lack of understanding and and and, and uh, commonality between her and her son, and I heard a lot of you know I don't believe that's possible because we've already tried that, um, which negated these, and I'm wondering how far she's going to get here with requests and commitments from him if if none of this is is on the table. Do you see that? So that's my that's my concern in that situation, um, and then the last one. This is really really important, and it's the one that most often gets lost. Um, whether it's your child and homework or schoolwork um, or a relationship, and that is. Acknowledgement or accomplishment, if you want to put it into conversation, for accomplishment. Acknowledgement. How did we do? We took some action. Did we, did we get what we wanted? Did we reach the goal? Did we have success? Or was it a failure, a flop? Because that's going to be real important for the next project, the next, the next commitment, the next whatever. And 
my, my partner always wants to jump right in the action. I go, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. We gotta at least have a goal, you know, but let's just do something. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, if you, if you don't know where you're going. He says, well, nothing's gonna happen if we're just sitting still. I go, that's right, but we need to go in the same direction. Right. <laughs> Yeah, because so right. if, if the goal is over here and you just start driving, you know, what difference does it make how fast you go? <laughs> you're, you're not getting any closer that's really <laughs> to the good, goal. That's a really good you know? point. I mean, if the goal is, is, you know, Sacramento and you're driving south from Los Angeles, you, you got a long way to go. This is a template that I use. Oh, when, so whenever, <laughs> whenever I'm in a conversation, this is the template I use. Whenever I'm with a child, whenever I'm with the parents, I want to know, okay, do we have common ground? Does it, does it feel? And you can feel it on the back of your neck, right? You can, all, you, you can tell. When you get that warm, fuzzy feeling, you know you're in your rapport with someone. So don't, that, you, that's good. That's an awesome feeling to have. So then I know I can, I can, we can talk about the goals and what, what is it we agree that we want to accomplish and is it possible if we throw out some solutions? Are those, so, there, what, go ahead. So talking about left and right brain communicating. So the way we're communicating these things is, is just through words? No. It's 7% words. So how does this look? And ninety-three percent body language. I mean, how does one through six look to a left brain, and how does one through six look to to a left brain? Um, do you know what I mean? Okay. Ultimately, they look exactly alike. Ultimately, they look exactly alike. <laughs> but it's like it's like Newtonian physics mechanics versus quantum mechanics. So the right brain person, the right brain person jumps like like um, like a, a neutrino or quark or something, so a boson particle jumping from here to here. And it just happens. It just boom. Actually, it doesn't happen exactly like that, but, you know, um, the electron combines with the boson, and then they, they're together for a while, and then all of a sudden they separate again. And, and nobody knows what happens in the middle. And this can also happen backwards, okay? The boson particle can leave the electron and then, and then come back, and, and then they can connect again. So anyway, so what I'm saying is you jump from here to here with, like, nothing in between. It's a quantum leap. Does that make sense? That's the right brain person. The left brain person is going to go and then they're there. Does that make sense? So one of them is going to go step by step by step by step by step by step by step. And then they get to the, they both get to the same place. Now, can it also look differently once they're standing in the same place? Yes, it can still look differently. Will they express it differently using different words? Very often, yes. But it's like, like I was joking about you and Dave. When you actually agreed on something, you and Dave were standing. You were here. You were standing in the same place. But you didn't know it. <laughs> you didn't know it because the way you were saying it was not valid to him and the way he said it was not valid to you. There was no understanding. There was no common ground. So you're saying the left brain person could start at, okay, let's do one, two, three, like that. The right brain person will jump over, well, what action are going to we take? And, but why are we going to do it? What's our goal? And then they'll jump around and hit all six, but not in order. Kind of like 
the right brain person may skip all six. <laughs> The right brain person, the right brain person may, may feel some, <laughs> some, I don't know, some quantum fluctuations, some unconscious mental process based on the existing information, and they'll just go, whoosh, <laughs> and they're, they're there. What are you, come on, what are you waiting for? I'm already here. <laughs> See, that's why I got to give Lisa... If we want to have a romantic evening, I got to give her a three-hour head start. <laughs> you got it? Mm -hmm. And I give her a three-hour head start, and guess what? At nine o'clock or ten, nine thirty, we arrive in the same place. The only difference is it took her three hours to get there. It took me five minutes to get there. And, and I'm learning, each day I'm learning more and more how to express things in a way that makes sense to her. And learning how to hear her in a way that makes sense to me. And she's doing the same thing. That's, that's our commitment to the relationship. See? But it's a commitment. It's a commitment that we're making to the relationship. Now, if there was some guy on the street who I didn't know or didn't particularly like or whatever, would I make that commitment to him? You know, would I send him flowers on his birthday even though I could care less about flowers? Probably not. Okay, one more, one more question. I'm not boring. You That's right okay. Now. We're, I mean, we, I was figuring two hours, so we're, we're ahead of schedule. This is good. All right. So... So, you know, I'm mostly right brain. Mm -hmm. My husband's left brain and my partner's right brain. Your partner's right brain, yeah. Okay. So, um, because I've been around Dave for 29 years, is the problem I'm having with, with Al, did I expect him to act like Dave? I mean, when we're talking about taking a, doing a, a deal or, or taking some action, he's already there. He says, let's do it, let's go now. I go, well, wait a minute, you, we don't really know where we're going or how we're going to do it and all that. And he goes, I don't need to know all that. Let's just do it. And I'm thinking, well, see, I could do that too, but how do I know if both him and I are both in the same place of let's do it? You know, I can, I can take that leap too, but how are we leaping together? Um, so, I don't, so I'm trying to... I don't know. <laughs> I mean, if you both have agreed... That you, um, if you've understood the goal, and that the goal is possible, and you want to take action, you're saying the opportunity is missing for you. The how-to. Yeah. Got it. So you're more left brain than you want to admit there. Well, I know I've got some in there. I remember I used to do account accounting. I, you know, I know I got, got it. Got it. Yeah. Got it. So do you... No, this is awesome. Guys, do you see how easy it was for me to see what was missing in the conversation? It, it, was, it just jumped out at me. See, I keep this, I have this tattooed on the inside of my forehead. It's on, it's on my brain. And I just, okay, so you, you have a mutual goal. You know it's possible. You agree on the possible. You agree that you both want to take action. So what was missing? Opportunity. The how-to. Yeah. So, do I? You know what? That? I have to get rid of this. This is bugging me. Um, there's no way I can get around it. It is what you're looking at is the problem. It's understanding the problem, and I and I hate to issue? use that word. How about issue. <laughs> but it's not the goal. See, these are the goals and solutions. The problem or the gap between uh, where we are and where we want to be. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. It really is. I, there's just no way around it. So, um, so, okay. even, though I, I, even though I hesitate to use that because of the bag, it's like negative baggage. But it's not baggage. It's like progress. It's like we, we, we want to keep moving. We want to go forward, right? So I don't mean problem as a bad thing. Someday I'll find a better word for it. All right, so, so 
being a little bit left brain, how do I get my right brain person <laughs> to back up a little bit so we're at least doing it how the how to? Well, see, that would be how the common ground it? rapport. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, I can see. I mean, can you can you out of respect for you? Can he help you with this understand how to? Because you want to be sure that you're not just wasting time and effort and money. You have a lot on your plate, okay? So you can't afford to go and spend, you know, five, uh, five days or five hours or whatever going in the wrong direction. It's it's like it's like um, design. This is like design. Without this, you're designing the house without the without the plans, without the design. I mean, you're building the house without the design. Mm -hmm. Not a great idea. Mm -hmm. Not a great idea. You don't need this to get this. So I love where he's going. Okay, mm -hmm. I like that he's. He's willing to look at, understand. He's saying, you guys, you guys, let's say, we, we need more money. The need is more money. Understand the need. I like that. Need. The need. Need. Desire. The need is we need more money. We want more money. Okay? Is it possible to get more money? Yes. Yes. Agree on so you, you agree on the need. You agree on the, on the possibility of you can get more money. Um, so so now what's the opportunity? How are we gonna do it? We could see see there there where I'm right brain is I could think of a whole bunch of ways that we could do it this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. Mm -hmm. You know, and he says, Well just pick one, just do it. <laughs> well, are they all viable well, how to's? See that's um, you know So what are the what are the well, I do, oh, a lot of what are the opportunities? Work. Well a lot of them would work, but I'd like the best one or at least the top three, you know. Because he's smart enough to figure pretty much every idea would probably work in some fashion, but I want okay. the, the better one. So why do you have to have the better one? Time. Faster. Okay. So you perceive a significant difference in what? The time commitment or the results or... <coughs> Can you give me an ex like something a little bit more specific? Just I usually don't like to get involved in content, but so you agree you want more money, you agree it's possible. So what is he saying? Let's go do it. What is he saying? Let's go do it. Or what are the well, three to, to three me, of the ideas? Well, one way is you could go door knocking um, to people's homes and see how everyone's doing, seeing if they're having problems with their house. Mm-hmm. Okay. Door knocking. What else? You can send out flyers and then call. You got to do both the other. Uh huh. Or you get referrals from friends and family and people you know. Okay. Is there some um, objective or subjective way to quantify these? What do you mean? How do you know which one works better? Well, with referrals, they walk in to see you. You don't have to call. You don't have to drive. You don't have to print flyers. You don't have to knock on doors. You just, people come to you. But you got to call people. And well, actually, right now, people are just doing that now. So you're saying you don't need to do any of this because you got enough people coming in. Right now, yeah. So why are we having this conversation? Because <laughs> we're partners. And our, everything we get is split 50-50. Okay. So, so does he... Okay, so so now wait, wait. You see, so what happened? What just happened here? She says we have enough referrals. He says we need to get more people in the door. Now where's the problem? Understanding the problem? Understanding the problem. Yes. Yes. You guys haven't agreed on number two yet. Hmm. You haven't even gotten to number four. You, you're not even agreeing on number two. No wonder you can't agree on number four. <laughs> because number two is incomplete. You haven't agreed. Do we need referrals or not? Do we need more people in the door? Or have I got too many gosh dang projects on my desk in my three <laughs> desks that I are already, filled up? 
got enough. <laughs> I don't want any people. I'm throwing people back. I'm I'm taking them. I'm taking them off the hook and throwing them back in the water. I don't want them. And he's saying, "Come, bring. Let's bring in more." No wonder you guys can't agree. <laughs> he's like, he's like pulling the fish in the boat, I and you're it. like, you're like throwing them back in the water. I think he wants to go do something. <laughs> okay, so what is it? What is it? Where is something that you agree that you want? You don't want more people in the boat. No, you don't want more fish. So what is it you do agree we do, on? We want bigger fish. You want bigger fish. Okay. Now, is that going to come from referrals from your deadbeat relatives? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Do people with money answer to flyers? No. No. <laughs> but can you go... <laughs> Can you go up to the most expensive house in Beverly Hills and knock on the door? Yes. Yes! We have a winner! See the template? Yeah. Do you see it work? <laughs> yeah. The once once we I listen, yeah. I listen. I I could tell exactly where the problem was. You guys hadn't agreed on the problem. Yeah. <laughs> so does this have anything to do with writing my brains? <laughs> no, not really. Not in this not case. Really, it's just communication. That's it's just communication. That was just communication. Of course, you know, like I said, any communication is is going to be more challenging when you have different styles. So, and you guys have a slightly different style. Like, you know, Dave's like way over here. You're kind of like in the middle, balanced. It's probably because you've been working with me. I've got, you know, you were way over there. Now I've got you back in the middle. So you're doing good. Okay? And Val, he's still way over there. So, so now it's, you know, it's like compared to what, you know, compared to what, compared to Dave, you're like this ultra boom, 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 right brain person. But now compared to Val, she's like, whoa, slow down there, cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's figure out how we're going to do this. But the real problem is if you guys were having this conversation, but this was the real misunderstanding or the lack of, you know, agreement. That's why you can't come to an answer. You can't you can't solve it here. You can't solve it down here on step 4 if you haven't agreed on step 2. Mm -hmm. Yep. <clears throat> Great stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anything on learning styles and relationships? I think we're good, right? <laughs> All right. Whew. I'm hoping you're going to explain to me what I missed. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the video. Oh, there you go. Like, it's in the video. <laughs> yeah.